In the garden is a serpent. And the serpent thinks the garden is his. He watches as man is created. Man feels lonely. He says, this isn't paradise. I'm the only creature who has no mate. I'm alone. So a woman is created. Man thinks the woman was created for me. The woman thinks she was created for herself. The serpent realized that if he could get rid of Adam, he could have Eve for himself. He listens as God tells Adam, you shouldn't eat the fruit lest you become all-knowing and die. The serpent hears Adam tell Eve, don't even touch this tree or you'll die. But the serpent knows that's a lie. After they made love, Adam fell asleep. The serpent saw his opportunity to speak to Eve. I'm hanging in the tree. I'm touching the tree. Nothing's happened to me. You can touch the tree. So she touches the tree, and nothing happens. And he says, look, I can eat the fruit. You can eat the fruit, and you won't die. And she eats the fruit. She sees all of history unfolding before her. And she understands she'll die, not now, but later. Adam will be left alone. He'll be given somebody else. So now Eve has become a bit cunning and serpent-like, and she decides... I will give Adam this fruit to eat, and then he will die also. We'll live together and die together. But perhaps there's another possibility. Perhaps she decides to tell Adam the truth. If you want to be with me, then you can eat the fruit too. We'll live together until we die. Or maybe... The whole thing was a setup. Eden is a trap. We were never meant to stay in Eden. <laughs>